Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Civil Construction and Tutor and in this video I will show you how to design a shear connection. So basically we will be designing a website plate connection and the basic idea in such type of connection is that we treat this web plate as the extension of the web of the supporting uh, supported member that is the beam which is bolted to this supported member and the web plate being subjected to a vertical line of shear force where it is welded to the supporting member and we have to check connection elements for the worst case that is for the weld for the plate and even the bolts so we'll be checking all of these elements individually so for designing the uh, connection we have five different parameters to be checked for the capacity that is VA, VB, VC, VD, VE and all of them are termed as like VA as the design capacity of the weld group, VB as the design capacity of the bolt group, uh, VC being the design capacity of the web plate in shear, uh, VD being the design capacity of the web plate due to the moment and similarly design capacity of the beam in shear which is VE and minimum of these all uh, uh, parameters will consider that as the design capacity and this capacity should be greater than that of the uh, shear force acting on that element or on that connection we are following AISC standard manual that is AISC design of structural connection fourth edition 1994 you can check that uh, for more details but in this video I'll just show you how we will design considering the various parameters given by this uh, standard and one thing we have to note here is that there are a lot of parameters which are just a standard uh, value that are used in the calculation so they don't have a specific uh, derivation so in this excel sheet we have different subtopics as section properties loading parameters bolt properties well plate properties design of connection and some additional design requirement to be checked and if you want this excel sheet just click on the link in the description box and you will get a mail from us regarding how to purchase this excel sheet so starting with the section properties we have the supporting member and the supported member so basically column section is the supporting member and the beam section being the supported member and this i have prepared considering indian standard i also have this uh, for the australian standard as well so for now is standard so we have section as ismb whatever the section you can just select from here and you will get the properties of that one that is depth width uh, thickness uh, something like those things which are necessary for designing the connection so let us see an example so here i have a small building so these are the beams which have a end releases so we will be designing for the shear connection now let us see the shear force diagram so apply so here you can see this is a moment release connection so we don't have moment at the edges we only have moment at the center so going to shear 2 2 and here max and min so we get this type of diagram and we'll select the most critical one and we'll design for that the beam section is ismb 200 so ismb 200 and the column is ismb 250 and these are the parameters like the total depth flange width so they are connect like they are linked to this table so this is the standard table i have prepared for the different properties to be used for the design connection now the second is loading parameters so for the moment because it is a shear connection so the moment will be zero shear force one thing we have to note that is from the asc guideline that is we have to design for at least minimum of 40 kN newton as the shear force now let us see shear force maximum shear force minus 20 minus 23 minus uh, 27 kilonewton is the maximum shear force for this building which is less than 40 kilonewton so despite the shear force being 27 we will provide 40 kilonewton as the minimum design action so 40 kilonewton bolt properties the plate size is dependent upon the number of the bolts because for the bolts we have to consider the edge distance as well as the pitch so that is to be considered so 
grade of bolts 4.6 or 8.8 .8. so grade of bolt or now let us select 4.6 it is better to provide 4.6 if it is uh, capable like until we need a high tensile strength bolt because uh, inside there might be confusion with the bolt even we specify the grade of the bolt but sometimes uh, due to some negligence the person in the site may use 4.6 grade bolt which will significantly uh, challenge the connection because we have designed the connection for 8.8 .8, but they have they provide 4.6 so it is better to go with 4.6 if it is possible and bolt diameter so let us provide 16 and hole diameter obviously it is diameter of the bolt plus 2 mm as the clearance uh, bolt shear capacity so for 16 mm bolt it is 28.6 kN so it is also linked to the table here so bolt size and grade of the bolt and shear capacity if it, the threads included in shear plane and threads excluded in shear plane so to be in a safer side we consider threads included in the shear plane so for 16 mm 4.6 the shear capacity is 28.6 number of rows so np basically np is something one two three one two three four but now let us go with three numbers of rows and number of columns one so this excel sheet is for particularly for num one column uh, for two numbers of columns the design is different it is due to the bolt group action because the load is eccentric hence for a bolt group uh, loaded by eccentric uh, vertical in plane shear force we have to consider a term that determines the capacity in eccentric vertical shear so that is basically zb so it is different for double bolt group so this excel sheet is for single bolt group so we have to consider number of columns as one in case for a double bolt group the value for computing zb is different so in this case it will be two so these are uh, two different exercises for designing this connection and number of bolts is simply number of rows multiplied by number of columns so three numbers of bolt now we have to consider bolt pitch and edge distance so which is 2.5 times the diameter of the bolt and 1.5 times the diameter of the bolt respectively 40 that is also fine and 1.5 times so 30 we'll check whether it is sufficient or not ill distress of the way plate so we'll be considering a mild steel plate so 250 and tensile strength 410 MPa okay beam clearance so for such type of connection we have a certain gap so if this is the face of the column and this being the edge of the beam so this gap is the beam clearance and this is provided for allowing a certain rotation which is the main uh, aspect of the flexible connection that is so 10 mils 20 mils whatever the clearance you want to provide but that should be economical and logical so for now let us just provide 20 mm and the width of the plate is 80 mm depth of the plate so whatever the number of the bolt minus 1 into piece distance plus 2 times the edge distance so that gives the depth of the plate so 140 distance between bolt and face of the support sg1 so these are to be understood from this figure so sg1 from the face of the support to the center of the bolt so that comes to be as 50 moment due to shear so now we are going to calculate the thickness of the plate and for the plate thickness we consider the plastic design and here we have this formula for designing the uh, for calculating the plastic moment capacity so m star is equal to 0 0.9 fy ti di square by 4 so 0 0.9 is basically the factor of safety and moment due to shear is simply shear force that is at the edge of the column times the eccentric distance which is sg1 for now so that comes to be as 2 kN meter and for this moment we get the required thickness of the plate as 1.81 provided thickness so we have restriction for pro uh, thickness of the plate so thickness of the plate should be less or equal to 10 mils or thickness of wave of the supporting member that is beam plus 1 mil now these are the parameters that are used for calculating the design capacities so ae1 ae3 ae6 so you can just take from this take reference from this image uh, now design capacity so as we said we have to compute the design capacity of the weld group bolt plate so we'll check that one 
for design capacity of the weld group VA now firstly we need the size of the weld so economical size of the weld just you can just read one note from here so weld are fillet weld and for economy it should be sized to the single pass weld if possible this generally means 6 mm or 8 mm fillet weld so let us go with 6 mm fillet weld and for 6 mm fillet weld the design capacity again we have a table here we consider a structural purpose weld and leg size that is weld size as 6 mils and E48 grade of the weld so we get 0 0.978 kN per millimeter now VA so we have formula here VA is equal to so you can simply understand this formula so E being the eccentricity DI being the depth of the web plate VW being the design capacity of the fillet weld and DI again as I said so this comes as 115.8 kN so that is the design capacity of the weld group now for the design capacity of the bolt group we need uh, a new term that is ZB as I said previously because the load or the bolt group is loaded by a eccentric vertical impedance shear force so to uh, consider that eccentric loading we have to consider ZP term and this is different for single bolt group or double bolt group action and design capacity of bolt group VB is considered as minimum of three different parameters so we'll do that one so design capacity of the volt bolt group 5 VDF so this 5 VDF is basically taken minimum of these three parameters so we get these three values so we'll be taking the minimum of these three and this is basically the shear capacity of the bolt so generally this is the minimum one so we get 28.6 kN similarly phi uh, you might be confused why we are taking all these parameters so for the design capacity of the bolt group we should be taking minimum of these three parameters so we just found phi VDF now we have to find phi VEF and phi VEH so for all of them we have formulas so we'll be taking that one so AEXI and AEXB so they are equal to AE7 and AE1 you can find whatever the value AE7 and similarly AE1 as well so AE1 and AE7 so we get phi VEV and similarly phi VEH now VV shall be taken as minimum of these three parameters so we'll be multiplying by ZB ZE so these are the parameters considered for the eccentric loading so VV minimum 40.38 now we are done with the check for the weld and the bolt now let us check for the design capacity of the web plate 90 94.5 kN that is the design capacity of web plate in shear and design capacity of web plate in moment Mm, VD so this comes as 132.3 kN and design capacity of beam in shear so we have to consider the shear capacity of the beam so 153.9 kN hence design shear capacity is minimum of VA, VD, VC, VD, VE so 40.38 kN and it is slightly greater than that of the shear force that is acting so it is okay because the actual load was 27 kN so it is okay to go with 3 16 bolts because the governing uh, criteria is with the bolts and we have to do some additional check for the connection and here we have the very first check is that because we have considered a plastic design that is a plastic hinge may form in the plate component of the weld hence the nominal capacity of the weld should be greater than that of the nominal moment capacity of the web plate to avoid the formation of the plastic hinge near the weld so msi so we have already computed msi here while computing the design capacity of the web plate so msi and mdm so the nominal capacity of the weld is greater than that of the nominal capacity of the web plate so it is okay and as we discuss we allow a rotation near the beam with the beam clearance but there should be a limitation for the rotation hence the beam rotation shall be less than 0.020 radians and to satisfy this condition we have an inequality 
AC by SG1 minus AE1 and this inequality should be less than 50 and if it is greater than the 50 the row beam rotation is greater is significantly higher and we have to increase the dimension SG1 minus AE1 AE1 until the inequality comes to less than 50 so the for now beam rotation is okay and finally because it is connected to the column we have to consider the additional moment that will be introduced to the column due to this connection here we have two type of connection whether the connection is to the column wave or it is to the column flange so here you can see this being the wave plate that is connected to the flange or it is connected to the wave of the column so if it is connected to the column wave the additional moment is computed using this formula while if it is connected to the flange it is considered by like the formula uh, the moment is computed considering the depth of the column so for now it is to the wave generally the connection like we provide a shear connection uh, if it is to the wave of the column so this is the additional moment that is introduced to the column and this should be less than that of the column capacity in that direction and for ismb 250 4.1 kilo newton meter is very less as compared to the capacity of the column about its wave so it is okay and the design summary is 80 by 150 by 6 plate 6 clit weld to the column and 3m16 4.6 grade bolts to the beam so let us assume this as the our case so this plate so this dimension will be 80 mils this is 140 and 6 thickness 6 plate uh, clit weld so this will be the weld to the column and 3 m16 bolts and this being the pitch as 40 mils and the edge distance being as 30 mils so this is how we design the connection i hope this video helped you and if it did help do like and comment in the video